So, hello fellow banknote collectors, how are you going? Let's see if this zooms out, yep, awesome, now you can see the banknote better. So, my name is Glenn, and today I'm just going to talk about this Bangladeshi banknote. As you can see, it's a 60 Tucker banknote. And this actually commemorates the 60th anniversary of the Bangladeshi language movement, which wanted to uh, make Bangladeshi an official language in Pakistan. Because if you don't know, before 1971, Bangladesh was uh, part of Pakistan. It was actually called East Pakistan. And after 1971, they got in independence and now they're classified as Bangladesh. Anyway, so here we have the monument with uh, the sun. And that is on the Bangladeshi flag. And that was... Uh, that was... a. Uh, uh, Built in 1972, it's designed by Hamidur Rahman and Novera Ahmed, who are, and they're both deceased now, but they're prominent sculptors in Bangladesh. And as you can see, it's in Bangladeshi. And if you don't know, Bangladesh is actually called the People's Republic of Bangladesh, even though it's actually not a communist republic. It's one of the few countries that adds an extra title to republic. And... There is a serial number in Bangladeshi, and actually Bangladesh prints their own banknotes, so this is a uh, made in Bangladesh. And mm, the quality of the paper and printing is probably not as good, but it only has an exchange rate value of about one Australian dollar. So yeah, for one dollar, I wouldn't expect a high quality banknote in the first place. And here we have the actual security thread. As you can see, it's metallic and it's reflecting. It has 60 in it. Uh, but whatever is on that blue section there, I'm not too sure. Looks like it could be someone's head. Maybe. And the watermark is uh, Sheikh Muzibur Rahman, who is the first independence leader of Bangladesh. And, oh, it's a bit blurry. So let's have a look at the other side. This is quite a nice banknote, it's quite attractive, I like it. So, here we have uh, another monument. And this has five people. So who does it have? It has Abdul Salman, Rafiq Ahmed, Abdul Jabbar, Sophia Rahman, uh, Abul Barkat. And these are five people who were killed in 1952 in the uh, Pakistani crackdown on um, demonstrations of the time. And I heard quite a lot of people actually died. And these people are martyrs and they actually have their own monument in uh, Bangladesh in Dhaka with uh, their heads. That was, uh, I think, opened in uh, 2007. And here we have the symbol of the Bangladeshi language movement. And what these people wanted to do is that, as I said, they wanted to make our Bangladeshi official, and that was actually introduced in uh, 1956. So Bangladeshi was official in East Pakistan. And I actually like the yellow and brown here. Looks like traditional Islamic patination you find on pottery or ceramics or something like that and it's awesome so the background here and here we have also some more patination let's see yeah as you can see it's good and that complements this banknote quite well uh, Pakistan rupee was actually in circulation before 1972 um, and the banknotes called Taka, that's what uh, Bangladeshis always have called the rupee, they've called it the Taka, so that it's just a continuation of the Taka that was introduced by the Mughals in the community banknote. Uh, here we have the date up the top. Now Bangladesh has actually, since 2011, introduced a lot of our community banknotes. The first one was a 40 Taka. Uh, the current one this year is a 70 Taka. So as soon as I get those banknotes, 
I would like to show you. Um, this one comes with a folder, but I do not have the folder, and it has extra information that uh, can help illuminate what this banknote is all about. I doubt it very much you would actually find this one in general circulation because of the odd denomination. Anyway, I'll leave it there and I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching my video and have an awesome banknote collecting time people. Please like and subscribe so I can show you more stuff from around the world. Thank you. Bye bye.